Welcome back guys to yet another episode of QAM. Thanks for tuning in with us today and if you like today's episode don't forget to hit that subscribe button, share it with a friend or a family member or a buddy that uh, likes outdoor adventuring, hiking or underground exploring. So today is uh, part three of the Lord Byron Mine. So if you're just jumping into this episode you may want to jump back a couple of weeks uh, to catch up on where we are but effectively we had to uh, whittle down about 10 to 12 hours of uh, some pretty awesome footage down to four roughly half hour episodes and this is part three of what will be a four-part series enjoy today's episode old oil bucket you commonly find these around bends in the track now have a look what's left of it i'll only pick a bit up because i don't want to destroy it check this out It's actually a good sign because that means it's been exposed to oxygen since the miner last left it here. Dead end? Yeah, it's been uh, filled in. All right. Rock stacked up in there. There's one also. Sure. Clean up in there, though. Oh, that's. We've been down that one, haven't we? Oh, okay. Yeah. There's another level. Right. Yeah, we've been down there. Been down that one. Yep. Hey guys, every drift in this level looks the same, so we've just done a little arrow and reminding ourselves that that is the way out for beers later on the Savo. Alright, the Lord Byron abandoned mine. On a small island off the coast of a small island. <laughs> and guys, this island is probably 10 k's by 10 k's, and 70% of it is mines. we go. Eyes peeled. That's why I'm not a fan of going through it, but this ground looks better. Much better. We're not getting those uh, big humidity cracks in it. But the direction we're going is back to that same ground, so we better be careful. Or we'll shoot 3B. That's tight. It's something in there at one stage. Looks like the wombats. Might be keeping these open. All right, you guys have seen this. I'll pause for a bit. All right, right down there is the workshop gang. That side drift there, that you can probably barely see, is where we came in. Another two-way. Ground looks a bit sus in there. Again, it's this tailings pushing it all in. We've got way better ground down that way. And then check this out. That's what the miners would have done. Drag that thing. And if they needed to go that way, they would use all the oil that's already greased up on the wheels and they'd manually have to spin that or skid it. So I believe this is called a friction plate or a skid plate. It has lots of different names. Now, I used to think when I first saw these in the country that we're in that they would be pneumatically powered, but no. They'd have to spin them. All right, better catch up with the guys. Just had to stop for a few photos. Well, we're into better ground again. Oh, 
Oh. Did you hear that? First footstep echoed. Stay to the right. Hey? Yeah, I'm coming. So they used to load all trucks. Yeah. Underneath there's a hole in the top of the platform. And there's a big scraper there that used to scrape the ore into the truck. Is that our way down? Uh, no. Alright. No, I'm, I'm just, yeah, it, it, I mean, I'm just saying it could be. Yeah, we didn't go down that way. Uh, it, it will get down to another level, but I've, yeah, I haven't gone down that way. Really know that way. Really Is that a slusher? Scraper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scraper. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Where's the winch for it? Gone? Uh, probably... Oh, so that thing that you guys just walked over is the hopper? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's epic. Yeah, the truck's going <laughs> <up>. <laughs> Bit of history there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Any idea when these were used, John? In Byron Bay? <laughs> That's all that's left of the steel cable guys, but that would have led to a, a winch that would have been mounted on that side of the hopper. And somewhere down there there'd be a, an ore pass. And they'd use this whole drift. It's probably a big hole to my right. And they'd just be funneling rocks down. And this thing, they'd push out. Now don't ma manually think, unless they had a winch, some had a winch at the other end. Let's check out to see if it's got a little coupling. Yeah, there we go. You can actually still see a bit of the steel rope on it. Right, that's very fragile. Yeah, so there'd be one winch that would go this way. And somewhere down here, there'd have to be a pass. Holy shit. There we go. It's been boarded up now. But that'd fill this drive full of ore. And then that uh, slusher would uh, come this way on one pulley, scoop up all the rocks, and then fire that way. And I've seen historical footage of them in action. They look, along with the muckers, they look like one of the most dangerous bits of equipment ever made. Hats off to the miners that operated those. Brave bastards you guys were. That's all I think about when I'm walking through these abandoned mines. Who built this? And did you know I'd still be uh, checking this out? with a high definition camera that's the size of a matchbox, you know, 80, 90 years later. That's all I think about. See, here's an example of a bit of cut and fill. So all behind that boarding there, there's probably all deads up in there. It saves them hauling it all out. All right, my buddies are gonna be pissed, I've gotten sidetracked again. Oh, I'm much happier about this level. This is way better ground, guys. Is that ladder crook, John? No, oh, I don't know. That's the... That's the crookest ladder I've ever seen. <laughs> Whew. More of those crushings, guys. More of those tailings just blowing the mine to pieces. Nature is uh, gradually filling this enormous hole in the ground. Yep, on your way out. Always a sign. All the ground up tailings coming down behind there. I know. Hey, they've, they've even tried to bridge those gaps with Hessian sacks. Look. 
that way to the surface. Possibly not anymore. You don't want to have to rely on that sign. Whoa! Look at that. So I haven't been topside yet, but somewhere there must have been the biggest plant ever. There is just millions and millions of tons of these fines. So that's processed ore. That's been run through a crusher. Whereas rocks this size, that size, you'd normally call that a waste rock or a tip or a mullock. I used to think mullock was only associated with coal mines, but anyway, I think everyone's got their own little version of mining terminology. Whoa! Look at the timbering up there. You're right to come through. There's heaps of tunnels up this way uh, to do further exploring. We're at an intersection, four-way intersection, and just deciding which way to go. It all looks open and clean. Roger that. Uh, I'm just going to leave some little arrows on the ground and I'll follow you. Over. Alright, don't know if you can see that little arrow, but that's our way out. The last miners in here would have done that, but we didn't do that, so we don't understand their system, they may be wrong. Alright. Oh, Jesus. If I had to guess, I'd say we're into the old workings here, the original workings. Oh, we got nice airflow here. Whew. Did you guys go up the stope or did you just stay on the drift? Oh yeah, gotcha. Oh, no way. That is where we're gonna get lost. Oh, she's big in there. Hey? She's big in there. Yeah, but I just know in an hour's time, two hours time, who knows? Yep. Running low on batteries, a little bit stressed. We might whiz right past here. Um, hey, Blake. Yeah. Oh, wow. Just grab that board, can you, mate? Uh, I'm gonna leave that. Hey, actually, just I'll just do that, okay? Yep. Reckon that's enough to. That's the right memory. Remind us, alright? Yep. Nitro, classic nitro, class class five nitro compound. Nice long signature too. Nice. Where would that ship from, given that we're in Byron Bay? Uh, probably hungry. Hungry, yeah, okay. That's only, what, 200 k's away, isn't it? Uh, which way the boys go? All right, well, I'm just gonna do this. I'll obviously remove these. That's pinched, you reckon? Yeah. All right. No, no, I think, I think that's uh, an addit. Feel the fresh air coming through. Oh, it's an addit? I reckon so. Okay. Anyway, off to you. Oh, thanks buddy. Oh, we're on a false floor. I don't think so. We are, I can hear it. I guess it's to even up the uh, trams. That was definitely a false floor. <laughs> yeah, I don't. It's got that distinct echo, doesn't it? Alrighty guys. Now we're really well prepared today. This is day three or day four, day three of some hectic underground exploring. All the mistakes we've made in the last few days with batteries of what we bring into the mine and what we leave at the portal. Hey gang, ladder way. We've got definitely got a way down. Oh, that's crook. Yeah, mate, we're in rain. We're just, just going to be fucking. Yeah, we can hear you.
Did you guys walk the planks of doom? Yeah. <laughs> That's okay, my brother walked across it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, well. It must be 15 feet after 15, so. One foot on each? No, ah, just walk across. All right, all right. Yeah, fairly right through there. Fairly right. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see that two level with the ladder going right down? Yes. It was still on first level. We're going to get down to three to get to the shaft. Well, hey, what, what, what level are we on now? Probably one still. All right. That ladder way looked a good way down. It did, didn't it? It did, yeah. Do, should you want me to have Which a look? We come from? Which this way. That way. What do you want me to set it at? Uh, lights are standing. Well, I've always... I'll set it to 19. Because I reckon if you've got a climb, it should be a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. And... If you're on a level... Oh, beautiful. <laughs> if you're on a level, you like mm -hmm. set it to like... 14 or 15? Yep. Cheers, bruv. No worries. Alright, do you want me to shoot ahead for a second and have a look? Oh, we'll look down, it's two level. <laughs> do we want to leave just a board or something to make sure we don't get a lift when we come out of here, or are we all good? Oh, good. Don't go anywhere else, really. Yeah, they can't I would not put your hands on the ribs at all. Holy quartz. Out. Here's my hand for reference. That was a lot of effort for that. I hope you appreciated that little bit. Just told up. Don't anyone else come down. Already down to 19.5. Alright. Yeah, I Follow the light. Thank you. Um Um, hey guys, what? when you get to your bottom 10 feet of ladder, don't touch anything at all to your left. I picked up on something when I edit my own videos, or our own videos. Whenever I pause and say, um, I might actually do an um compilation. Do you reckon that would be cool? <laughs> it's normally really bad ground. Ah, uh, we hit water, gang. She's flooded. Yeah, she's flooded. I reckon we've gone down more than one level though. Yeah. Holy shit. Oh, here's another mine jellyfish. Same as yet. Oh, there's several. The oxygen's fine. We're back to 20.2. Alrighty guys, that's all she wrote for this one. Uh, Blake just said just behind me, this definitely looks like the main hall. So this may have been the main, obviously we passed like dozens of ore shoots, but just how much, uh, how much lagging and how wide this thing is. And obviously back in the day, it wouldn't have been flooded, they would have been pumping it. This may, may have been how they got the ore down to the bottom level and then out of the mine, or down the bottom to the shaft and shafted it up. I think Chris said there is a uh, vertical shaft that connects one to maybe to the surface all the way to four. Is that right, mate? Yeah, main, main shaft. Yeah. Down to nine level. What level? Nine. Shit. Uh, this here looks like it's an unexploded piece of jelly knot, I suppose. And uh, look at that. Sort of the wire hanging out, the detonator, and uh, somebody's. See that? Holy shit. Yeah.
that there'd be the dent into it and it just hasn't been exploded. We don't make her? Definitely. Touch it. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, I'll let it, I'll let it that bit out. No! Shit! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, I now know what sort of man Chris is. <laughs> I'm going, I'm taking everybody yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. Wow, that goes up there a fair way too, eh? Yeah. We're going to have a look. I'm sure this is the way we come in before. The way we came in? Yeah, oh, me and my brother come in last time. Oh, I can feel the air screaming. Yeah. So let's just make sure it's not gated. I just want to see there's no uh, cross cut. Bloody hell. Oh, in a different ground again. Look at that water level. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's the other exit. Is it like escapable though? Is it possible to get out? Yeah, yeah. The way we come in, like you can. Did you want to go out and down? No, 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 no. I just want to make sure because that means all of the markers that we've made to get out, we don't have to worry about. Well, this is 500 feet in by the look of that. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah it's gated. It's, it's gated. It's, it's an old um, gate collapsed and through the tailing. Oh, it's all right. Someone's yeah. cut the someone's cut the gate. Yeah, awesome. So you can get in and out there. Awesome. All right, yeah. so we're back on the main hall. All right, well that is good news. That means every marker, the dodgy beer cans, the arrows in the mud are all redundant because we just found another way out and my levels of anxiety and maybe the people watching as well. The nervous Nellies out there. The nervous Nellies, I was a bit of a nervous Nelly. But uh, anxiety levels gone now that we've got a new way out. How about you Blake? Yeah, I feel good. Feeling good. We're getting on the beers again tonight, lads. Oh, yeah. I think we should see it. Want to shout? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right, looks like I've got the good GoPro battery, guys. This is battery number four. And we've opted to stop charging GoPro batteries and start charging lights. It's better to uh, have access to lights underground than it is to record video, yeah? So, all right, we're back at the junction. From memory, yeah. no. did we not come over that wall? Because that's the board I put there. Didn't we dog leg right? Which means we are gonna like re-intersect where the tool shed is? No? I think it was. Man, I wanna see the size of the tailings pole outside. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Starting to become my new coolest thing in mines. Mine Mid mushrooms. Mine mushrooms. I've got a 50 in my pocket. If you. <laughs> oh. Well, that guy's all re solidified sandstone. It's amazing. But yeah, starting to become a new favourite thing in mines mineral deposits. And I think I've said uh, heaps of times on my channel the miners would have only seen these. In the yeah. They would have seen these as little stains on the rock. That little gypsum crystals forming everywhere. They're really brittle. Oh, what's that? A bolt put into a shot hole. Ah, uh, we've seen this bit before. We're back at the four-way junction. That's the way we just went. Definitely. They're going that way again, are they? I don't know why they're doing that. Have we been that way? Yeah, he's going down, mate. Oh, okay, cool. You guys all good? Yeah, yeah. I just, oh, yeah. Just getting a bit of a musty smell. I smell it. So, we just thought we'd get you to yep. do a gas check before we... Hmm. All good. So far. Oh, I can smell what you can smell. Can I just push past you? Yep. Hey Chris, well, I can definitely smell what John's talking about. Yeah. Let me take let me take the lead, mate. Yeah, that's what I'm waiting here for. Yeah, good work. Are we good or are we good? Yeah, next just 
Check them there. O2's fine, but John and the boys are right, there's definitely something a bit funky down here. All right, just... There it goes to your left. Yeah. Sorry guys, that was some, probably some really shoddy camera work. I thought my buddies were in trouble. All right, air's okay. Chris is coming down with me, but I reckon just hang back because um, if there is bad air, it's going to take it's like a wet scramble, wet scramble back up. Now we hit water. Yeah, but you can go left and go between the water and um, have a look. It's a little bit of a tiny goatee track. Yeah, all right, Roger that. Now it's all flooded, mate. Is it? Can't get around there now. Yeah, that way's oh. that way's collapsed. If I had to have a guess, that ground there looks really fresh. You know what I mean? Like, I think that might have been a fresh collapse then. Yeah. And it's come from maybe underneath the lagging. Yeah, I'll have to follow that way. All right, guys, there's all good, but come down because uh, we've got more water. We're going to have to take a right hand turn. I'd say that was an old horseshoe in there. Did you bring those waders? <laughs> uh, wait till you see the hole, man. Um, it's not waders, it's scuba. It is the scariest flooded part of a mine I've ever seen. Come have a look. Great Northern, the beer from up here, the beer from down here. Now, guys, hold that up, Chris. That is the only clue that we'll give you. The brewery that brews that is around about 50 kilometers away. That's the only clue you're getting. So there you go. Oh, Chris, I found the main decline. Yeah, so have you by the look of your torch? That have to be it. No? I don't know what that is. Oh, that's a shoot. It's not a shoot, Yeah, yeah. Now, I haven't been in this bit. Okay. We're in fresh. Nice Alright, this bit's a bit sketchy. That's great. Oh, Jesus. Doing this with one hand is not a good idea. Have a look at the water there, you see that barrel. Oh, that's cool. Whoa. Yeah, like accumulation tank or something. Yeah, probably headed to the lower levels. Uh, no, because there's deads on the left hand side of it. So it looks like it actually goes underneath us. Alrighty gang, thanks for tuning in to today's episode of QAM. And you've just wrapped up part three of what will be a four part series of the uh, Lord Byron uh, beautiful abandoned mine. And you can see we're about to get up top side in this episode as we've gotten about as far as we can down to the low workings of this mine until we hit the water table, which definitely looks to have uh, leveled itself out and made any deeper workings completely inaccessible unless someone goes back in and pumps it. So uh, in the last episode, you're gonna see us cross the creek, you're gonna see us uh, find some topside artifacts, and then we're gonna climb into the uh, the stope of death uh, to wrap things up from the Lord Byron. So we look forward to seeing you all then. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode.